If you run a trucking business, working with freight brokers will keep your company broke. If you have the trucks but no loads for them, you still lose. Every trucking company needs better pay with as many direct customers or shippers as they can possibly get. Brokers will keep you moving, but if you have the ambitions to make a big trucking business, they will slow your growth down. Anything that's easy and convenient will cost you something. In the case with freight brokers, it will save you some time, but cost you more money than it's worth. In this video, I'm going to go over how to find direct shippers, the best methods to reach out to them with exact scripts and how to close deals. So you never have to worry about posting on a load board ever again. If you watch all the way through this video, you will be able to add tens of thousands to even six figures to your bottom line if you follow these simple steps properly. And first, let's cover the basics for anyone that's watching. What are direct shipper loads and why should you care? Direct shipper loads are exactly what the name implies. It's load agreements between the trucking company and the shipper. Most trucking companies work with freight brokers who provide the contracts but take a general 15 to 25% off the load revenue. They don't guarantee any loads, which can cause challenges during fluctuating spot rates and fuel prices. Having direct shipper loads instead ensures all the load revenue goes straight to the trucking company instead of a percentage taken off the top. Now it seems like it would be obvious for trucking businesses to do this as they get a higher margin, but almost every single one uses freight brokers to source loads. This is usually because it's convenient and you don't have to think about it. And don't get me wrong, freight brokers get a lot of hate, but they are an integral part of a trucking industry. They can be beneficial for a big and small company who may be focusing on different parts of their business. But if you are looking at your books and you are wondering, where can you find some additional money to expand your business and be more self-sufficient? I'm going to explain where to find the shippers and what to pitch them that I recommend to all trucking businesses to acquire connections with freight customers and shippers and close deals. The best strategy I can give you right off the bat to find shippers is to get a recommendation letter from your current customers if you have a direct customer and solicit other shippers in the areas you want to be in. If you don't have any direct shippers right off the bat for recommendations, here are some traditional, but still incredibly effective methods of outreaching. Number one is cold calling and cold emailing. Research potential customers and shipper in your target market and reach out to them directly via phone or email. Be prepared with an elevator pitch outlining your services and how you can meet their shipping needs. If I were to write an email to a company, I would say something like this. And before you start reaching out to companies using this script, you need to make sure you keep a CRM, which is a customer relationship management software to keep track of who you've called, what stage in the deal you are at with them, and when you last followed up with them, etc., etc. If you don't do this, it will get disorganized very quickly. Number two is to use online platforms. You want to register your trucking company on an online freight marketplace like load boards such as dat, truckstop.com or Uber Freight. This sounds counterintuitive since we are looking to stop using load boards, but hear me out. When you haul a few loads from these load boards, you'll know what brokers you are taking loads from. You want to make sure you're looking for small to mid-sized brokerages since larger ones are working with giant companies like Pepsi, for example. See, if you can get in touch with them directly in the future to establish a relationship, number three is to use social media to your advantage. Platforms like LinkedIn are great for showing your company services, sharing industry news, and connecting with potential customers and shipper. You can easily find businesses and decision makers on LinkedIn because that's exactly what the platform is built for. Now it's great that you know where to find shippers and the methods of how to reach them, but what do you actually offer them? Here are some important steps to keep in mind when crafting deals to establish direct shipper relationships. First, you have to put yourself in the shipper's shoes. If you have an owner operator or a small trucking business 
walk up and ask to have direct loads, why should they want to work with you? They don't have the most experience or the most trucks or trailers or resources. Now you as the business could try offering a lower rate, but that wouldn't make any financial sense to do that. You would be better off working with freight brokers instead. And you're back to square one. Much like if you're looking to get hired for a job that you don't necessarily have every qualification for. You need to find ways to make up for where you're lacking and how to add value to their company over your competition. Mega carriers and freight brokers often have systemized processes to acquire shipper loads, which are the reasons why they're so big in the first place but they often end up losing personal touch with their customers. This is where you have an advantage if you are a smaller or a medium sized trucking business. But personal touch and being likable isn't enough. So what can you do to make a no brainer offer where it's actually hard for the shipper to say no to you? Make a list of all the problems shippers have and how you can solve them. Here are a few of the main issues that shippers have on-time delivery, high tender acceptance rates, competitive rates, load tracking, freight capacity, no risk contracts, etc, etc. Now instead of trying to lower your prices, you're adding value to your service, which is what gives you more leverage when creating the deal. More guarantees and less risk makes them think that it would be stupid not to work with you. So say you reached out to a ton of companies with a great offer and are getting some responses. It's time to close some deals. You're going to go to shipper's office and have an in-person meeting if possible with the transportation manager or shipping manager. You should try to close them in the first meeting if you possibly can. Try adding a 60 or 90 day trial period to reduce risk. If the shipper is kind of interested, but on the fence and not closing, you should be adding them to an automatic email follow-up sequence once you get home. This sequence will send them an email once every one or two weeks. These emails should be social proof of you working with other shippers and the results you've gotten for them. Proof that you've done it before and are capable of doing so is the most important way to distinguish yourself from the competition. If you get a positive response from this email, you should be pushing for another in-person meeting. And you might not like this, but as a small to mid-sized trucking company owner, you likely don't have a fleet of salespeople working with you. This means if you're not naturally inclined at speaking and selling confidently, you're going to need to learn some sales tactics. There's a ton of tutorials on YouTube that you can find. I would highly recommend really spending time looking into this and talking to yourself in the mirror if you need to. At the end of the day, you're simply having a conversation with another human being, even if you are selling a service. To recap this video, you know where to find the shippers how to outreach to them, how to keep leads organized on spreadsheets, what to pitch to them, and how to close the deals. If you implement the steps I have laid in this video, you'll be able to acquire direct shipper loads to increase both margins and profits for your trucking business while cutting out the middleman. And if you are getting so many loads that you need new trucks and need more qualified drivers to seed those trucks, I can double your fleet in 30 days or less. I've seeded over 5,000 trucks in the past few years, and I am looking for ambitious trucking company owners that have over 10 trucks and are looking to grow their fleet. Now, I only have a few clients in each region to make sure there's no overlap with hiring drivers. So there's only so many spots available. If you are interested, click in the link in the description and watch the video. Make sure to subscribe for the next video, and I'll see you in the next one.